Hello Year 10s, it's Mr. Omara here. The reason you're not seeing me in person is because I unfortunately something has come up and I can't be there today, but I do need you to do some serious work in planning your essay. Now this is quite a detailed plan. This is more than we would do for the planning if I were there, but it's still going to do you good. You're already on Red Space Rocket, so you're in the right starting place. You're watching the video and you click on the link under the video, which the video is obviously not on there at the moment because I'm making the video. So you click on that and it will take you through a form. Now, what this is taking you through is this question here. The film, The Help, is all about problems but not solutions. So that is the prompt that you are responding to. So what these questions are going to do is get you to quite thoroughly plan out how you're going to respond to that prompt. The very first thing that you need to decide is how you're going to respond, what your basic contention is. Do you completely agree with this? You think it is all about problems but not solutions? Or do you completely disagree and perhaps think it's all about solutions and the problems aren't that substantial? Or are you somewhere in between? You will probably recognise these codes here. An AAA response is all three paragraphs will agree with the prompt. And that's what completely agreeing is. Obviously, if you mostly agree, it's an ADA response. You agree, then disagree, then agree. Um, a DAD response is degree, uh, degree, disagree, agree, and disagree. And I'm sure you can work out what a DAD response is. You then go through and you identify what the key words are. You know, some words are more important than others. Now, it's a common trap, but the help is not a key word. You do need to only talk about the help as a text, but the key words are elsewhere in the sentence. You know, of course you need to talk about the set text. One thing I want to make really clear is when I give you a big box of this size to write in, it means I expect you to write a bit, probably two or three sentences. If you just put one or two words in each box, you're going to be through this in no time, but you're all going to also going to have something which is very close to worthless. You need to practice writing in full valid sentences. This is what, this is kind of the end goal of English. So, well not the end goal, but one of the very definite goals is being able to write in fluent, solid English sentences. So when you see a box of that size, that means go in there and write decent sized sentences. And you can continue through to about four pages of this. So this will take you the 100 minutes, but when you get to the end, what we're going to have is a spreadsheet full of really good quality responses so you can go through and see each other's work and actually think, oh, they've done that really well. And perhaps you will be inspired by them. Perhaps you might even copy small parts of other people's brilliance and say, that's a really good opening, I think I'll use that. So this is what I need you to do today, and I will see you very soon.